Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is the chemical properties. If you talk about the chemical properties of the group 16 element, the oxygen family, we talk about the reaction with hydrogen, reaction with oxygen and reaction with halogens. So we'll start with reaction with hydrogen. See, typically most of the elements forms hydride of the form H2E. All the elements of the group 16 will form hydrides of the form H2E. For example, with water it will form H2O, E becomes O. With sulfur it forms H2S. With selenium it forms H2SE. With tellurium it forms H2TE. Correct. If you see the melting point, these are the melting points. Similarly, boiling point also if you see, but if you see the melting point, the boiling point of water, if you compare these two now, this is a uh, special case. The melting point is higher in this, as if you, the melting point of water is more than melting point of hydrogen sulfide. Similarly, the boiling point of water is more than the boiling point of hydrogen sulfide. Why? Because of my hydrogen bond in this and no hydrogen bond in this. Why? Again, oxygen is electronegative and thus it attracts electron toward itself. Hydrogen develops slightly positive charge, oxygen slightly negative charge and thus there is a hydrogen bond. In this case, oxygen is not that much electronegative. So, sorry, the sulfur is not that much electronegative. So, hydrogen bond scope is almost not there. Okay. And these are the distance between uh, uh, the hydride. The typical structure is like this or like this or I mean or I can say like the general structure right so these angles are given these angles are 104 degree in water this angle is 92 degree in hydrogen sulfide 91 degrees H2SE like this similarly the distance this is the distance I'm talking about distance between H and E is uh, less in case of water and then it increased, the distance also increased, right, as we go down the group. Similarly, the delta H value also, if you see, in this case, is less. But in this case also, I mean, this is negative. This is also negative, but then it becomes positive. Okay, the dissociation constant value is also given. So the acidic character increase from H2O to H2TE. This is more acidic. Water is less acidic. Right? Water is less acidic and H2T is more acidic. Why? Because decrease in the bond dissociation enthalpy. So if you see the bond dissociation enthalpy decrease. It is easy to break H2 or HTE bond then HO bond. So this bond, if it is water, this is difficult to break, but if it is sulfur also, it is easy to break. If it is hydrogen and selenium, it is all the more easy to break. You see, this is the balance scale. Thermal stability of the hydride also decrease. So this is more stable, thermal, thermally. More stable, thermally. Again, why? Because of the decrease in this dissociation. Enthalpy. And all hydrides except water, they have this reducing capacity. Right? So, and this characteristic increase actually, the acidic character and the reducing characteristic increase from let's try this is more acidic, more reducing capability. So this thing water is pretty much stable talk about the hydrides of oxygen water is pretty much stable h2s is less stable more reactive more acidic more reducing power right similarly if you go down the group the reactivity increase and the acidic nature also increase now let's talk about the reactions with oxygen so with oxygen typically they form oxide o eo2 or eo3 two forms they form Example of EO2 will be SO2, EO3 will be SO3. And these oxides are acidic in nature. 
these oxides are acidic in nature but the physical property may change for example so2 is a gas seo2 if we talk about is solid right their uh, yeah physical property is changing the reducing property also decreased on the group this so2 is actually having uh, reducing property co2 is oxidizing so let me repeat once again so2 is gas seo2 in fact teo2 is also my solid these two are solids and these are polymeric solids having chains and they have layer structure this so2 this dissolves in water dissolves in water to form sulfurous acid h2so3 these seo2 this also dissolves in water to form h2seo3 that is selenious acid and this is a crystalline solid so so2 form h2so3 that is my liquid and seo2 forms h2seo3 seo2 is solid but h2seo3 is liquid it is selenious acid if you talk about teo2 this is insoluble in water this plus water no reaction. This is insoluble in water. But this, is, this dissolves in alkali and it forms tellurides. Right? And it also reacts with acid to form basic salts. And the acidic character of these uh, dioxides actually it decreases from SO2 to TeO2. This is something we have discussed, right? The acidic character decreases as we go down the now let's talk about the trioxide. As I told, it also forms trioxide of this form, SO3, EO3 form. So my sulfur, selenium, and tellurium, all these forms are trioxide. This is my SO3, that is my uh, uh, sulfur trioxide. Then I have a selenium trioxide, and then I have a tellurium trioxide. This SO3, if you see, this is a planar trigonal molecule. And this is gas right and these two are again my solid and these two are solid because they have a network because the structure actually they are having different phase if we talk about so3 it is trigonal uh, planar molecular species and it has a linear chain or cyclic trimer in the solid state but if you talk about the selenium trioxide or the tellurium trioxide, they are solid. This is a tetramer. It forms a tetramer actually. Of tetramer will be Se. You multiply 1 into 4 is 4 and 3 into 4 is 12. Se4O12. This is what it forms. Solid tetramer. And this tellurium trioxide is also solid because it forms a network of T2O6. And these are joined through vertices. So this is, we have, we talk about SO3 structure, this is how it is. This is my SO3, gas is SO3. As I told, this SO3 also forms trimer and it forms a trimer. There is nothing but SO3. This is one. One more SO3 I have and one more SO3 I have. This is what? This is the trimer. That is SO3. It forms a trimer. It also forms chain of polymers. That is SO3, SO3, SO3 like that. Okay. So we talk about the acidic character of these oxides. This decreased on the group. My uh, sulfur dioxide dissolves in water, as I told, to form my sulfurous acid. SeO2 again dissolves in water to form serenous acid. 
but my TO2 doesn't dissolve in water but dissolves in al alkali. So that's all I have for the oxide. If you want, we can see the structures also of let's see the structure of selenium dioxide. It is SeO2. This one, let's see the structure of SeO2. I have Se. Oh, and it, it is solid because it is always in the um, structure network. So it is something like this actually. Something like this. And this, actually this angle, if you talk about this angle, this angle is 98 degree. So the one is in this side, this oxygen becomes in this side actually. This angle is 98 degree. This is the structure of selenium dioxide. And it also forms the complex structure. Oh, and the complex structure is complex in this fashion. This is one. Yeah, something like this it forms the structure. Yeah, it also forms this kind of structure, and because of these complex structure only, it is also in the solid phase. Okay, and selenium trioxide is also solid because it forms a cyclic tetramer. We have seen SeO three four, Se four O twelve. Okay. So that's all we have for the reaction with oxygen. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.